For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The love of God is that he sent his Son. And the love of God is that God wants us to be saved. God is long-suffering. He's not willing that any should perish. And the fact is, when we rebel against God, there is a consequence. The fact is that we have the story in the Gospel of Jesus Christ that Jesus suffered and died according to the Scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the Scriptures. That the Bible says, whosoever believeth on the Lord Jesus shall be shit, shall be saved. When a man enters into hell by rejecting God in Jesus, it is on your own merit. It's not on the merit of God or Jesus, because the merit of Jesus is to save all people. But the Bible also says, broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many will go therein. But straight is the gate to eternal life and few. Again, the Bible says for us to go out into the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures that we might have eternal life. And that eternal life rests only in Jesus. The very fact that we have the birth of Jesus in the manger. We have the death of Jesus on the cross. We have the empty tomb. It's for our salvation. That is what God accepts, the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, that it is God's blood, Acts 20, 28, that saves us. It can't be because we're good when the Bible says there is none that doeth good. So when you will proclaim your goodness and the Bible says you're not good, there's a contradiction. And in the Bible there are no contradictions. It is your life that's contradicting God's way. Now Jesus said, I am the way. And the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You're not going to go to God and go to heaven by your good works, as you don't have good works. You're not going to go to heaven by your righteousness, when the Bible says there is none that is righteous. No, not one. And you're sure not going to get to heaven by religion when Jesus said, I am the way. There's no room for religion. He said, what makes Jesus different from religion? Jesus Christ is alive after he died three days and three nights. Jesus Christ is seated at the right hand of the Father 450 plus people saw the resurrected Jesus after he died at Calvary. Religion is still in the graveyard. And if it's not in the graveyard, it will be in the graveyard and it will die. You may have a religion, but Jesus is not a religion. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And through Jesus Christ, you may know of a surety that you have eternal life. Because the Bible says, these things have I written unto you, that you may know you have eternal life. Religion will give you, and even out of your own mouth, religion will go, well, I hope so. I think so. I really don't know so. And yet I stand here as a born-again, Bible-believing Christian that I know where I'm going to go when I die. And I know what got me to heaven, Jesus Christ. 
I came out of a religion. I came out of the Catholic Church unto Jesus Christ. And you've got to come out of religion. You've got to come out of the world. You've got to come out of yourself to be saved. You've got to come to God through Jesus Christ. And there are some religions out there who say that Jesus is not God and God is not Jesus. That's a lie. That's a deceitful myth. And you will not get to God the Father believing that. You cannot tell me a man that lived and is sinless is not God as Jesus is sinless. There's no way. And when you are relying on something that is not Jesus Christ, you will not get to heaven. Now, I am not saying as a Catholic, as a Pentecostal, as a Baptist, you're lost. No, you could be saved. If your faith relies on Jesus, not the doctrines, the traditions, or the ways of the religion. If your faith and your hope and your to get to God is Jesus, you may be saved and glory to God. But it cannot be anything but Jesus Christ. It cannot be a church. It cannot be you. It has to be Jesus. Only Jesus saved. Again, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. When Jesus says, I'm the way, and you're going to have the nerve to say, well, look how good I am, God. And the Bible says, there is none that doeth good. God, look how righteous I am. There is none righteous, no, not one. And you can proclaim you are a Baptist, Baptists don't get to heaven. Wow. What will get me to heaven, sir? Jesus Christ. The death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ and putting your faith and putting your trust in the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. For the wages of sin is death. We can do that. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And a church is not going to get you there. You are not going to get yourself there. Nothing will get you there but the name of above all names whereby men must be saved is the name and is the work and is the merit of Jesus Christ alone. And there is no, I hope I go to heaven. There's assurance of going to heaven. That's one thing that separates Jesus from religion. Assurance. Assurance in the, wor in the Word. Now, you may be called a Christian, but a Christian is a person that has put their faith and trust in Jesus and Jesus alone. And nothing else, not of works, least any man boasts. For by grace are you saved through faith. It is not of you at all. God has set forth a standard to heaven. And that standard is Jesus Christ. And only Jesus Christ is able to save your soul. He, God, made Jesus to be sin for us who knew no sin, that the righteousness of God, that we may be made the righteousness of God in Him, Jesus. It's not righteousness, oh, I go to church, look how holy baloney I am. <laughs> Churches are closing. What do you do when you go knock on your church salvation door and it's no longer your church? You go to hell? No. So, salvation is not in a building, it's not in boards, it's not in windows, it's not in nails, it's in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Salvation has been wrought from when Jesus Christ came out of that tomb. When the angel proclaimed, He is not here, He is risen. Try that with your pastor, preacher, priest, rabbi, whoever 
conducts your service. Go to their tomb, go to their grave site, go to wherever they're buried, and he's still here. Jesus, behold, he's risen. I serve and you can serve a risen Savior today. You can have your name written down in heaven, the Lamb's book of life, and have eternal reservations to heaven through Jesus and Jesus alone. It's that plain and simple. How do I get to heaven? Have your name in the Lamb's book of life. How do I get my name in there? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Come to the Lamb of God, which takes away the sin of the world. Right? You know what religion does? It adds to your sin. Nowhere in the Bible in this day called the church age does the Bible say go to a man and tell that man your sin. While that man is sinning himself. Even the Old Testament priesthood, Hebrews, tells us that they were sinners. That high priest on the Day of Atonement had to go in the holy place first for himself. Then second for the sins of the people. My Jesus did not have to offer a sacrifice for himself because he's God, he's sinless. He had to offer himself for us because we are sinners. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And when you come short of God, that shortness can be reached by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. The only access to God, the Father, and holiness and heavenliness is through Jesus and only by Jesus. That's it. That is it. That is only the means to Jesus is God and God through Jesus. There's no other way. There's nothing to be a membership in. There's nothing to be baptized in. There's nothing to do for salvation but believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. It's that simple. God made salvation simple. He didn't tell you to do this. He didn't tell you to do that. He told you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. That's it. And a man will go to hell today because he has not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me tell you, there are plenty of good people in heaven, uh, hell. Hell is filled with good people. Now, I don't know if that's what you're thinking of hell is, but it's good people. I'll tell you who you will not find in hell. Those that put their trust in Jesus. Those that are true Christians to the Bible belief upon Jesus and nothing else. For by grace are you saved through faith and not of ourselves, least any man vote. Christians do not go to hell, and you Christian is one that is saved by Jesus. A Christian does not eat Jesus. He does not drink Jesus. He does not go to Mary for hope. He goes to God. Some people have been deceived to think that they're okay. Some people are deceived to think, oh, I'm going to heaven, I think. I know through Jesus I am saved. I have a surety of the word of God. My mouth can't shut up of Jesus. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth confessions made unto salvation. It's that simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There is 
no hope in religion. There's no hope in the Pope. Your blessed hope is in Jesus Christ. And he's coming soon. You must be born again, Jesus said. You must be washed in the blood of Jesus. You must repent of your sin. You can't enjoy your sins. You cannot sin about your sins. You cannot glory in sins in song. You must be sorry and repent of your sins to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to wash you of your sins. The Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. God says, come now, let us reason together, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow through Jesus Christ, the blessed hope, the glorious hope, your access to God is only through Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other means for you to be saved. There is no other means for God to be pleased except through Jesus Christ. You are the sinner. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death. And the love of God is Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You can be a whosoever and believe on Jesus and be saved. Or you can be a whosoever was not found in the land's book of life, was cast into the lake of fire that burneth forever. You see, religion gets you a membership in hell. It starts with an H. It has an E. But that's the only part of heaven religion will get you. Because religion will get you H-E-L-L. -L. Religion will not get you to H-E-A-V-E-N. Religion will not get you to the F-A-T-H-E-R. And it's only by J-E-S-U-S. -S. It is that S-I-M-P-L-E. By the blood of God, and the blood of God is Jesus Christ. It, there's nothing else. Go eat all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture. And was buried. And arose again the third day. God did not say, go in all the world and feed the homeless. God did not say, go out and join a church for salvation. God did not see, say, be good to be saved. God said, son, Go down there and suffer and die for our creation. And whosoever believeth upon what you do, I'll save them. And the devil came up and said, oh man, Jesus Christ will take people out of hell. What can I do to keep people in hell? I'll do, the devil speaking, I'll do religion. I'll make you think you're good. I will make you think that God will pat you on the back and say, Oh, how great you are. Oh, 
the whole church is happy when you come in and sit down in your pew. How great thou art, the devil make you think. And yet the hymn writer wrote, How great thou art, Jesus. Some Baptists think they're so great with their whiskey and their song. You ain't great. And you will never be great enough. Unless you exceed the greatness of Jesus Christ and you never will. You never will. Because Jesus is God. How holier than you can get than God? You can. And when you come to God, and you say, God, I have religion. God, I am good. God, look at me. And Jesus, who is God, will say, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Into hell prepare for the devil and his angels. You don't hear a well done unless you put your faith and your belief only in Jesus. For only Jesus saves. Jesus again has said, I am the way. There is no other way to God through heaven but through Jesus. It is that simple. Holiness comes by the testimony of Jesus Christ. And only by Jesus Christ can a man be saved. Salvation is wrought and can be gotten, never earned, by Jesus. It's that simple. Anything else but Jesus is a fraud. Whatever you think is going to get you to heaven without Jesus is deceit. And I'll tell you right now, I'll tell you the truth. When a man wakes up in hell, he becomes a Bible believer. Too late. It's too late. You cannot come back. That rich man in hell that Jesus spoke about, he couldn't come back. And he said, go tell my five brethren. You know what your family and relatives want us to do that are dying in hell today? Go tell them about Jesus. Don't preach anything else but Jesus. And that only Jesus says, and that they were foolish not to believe Jesus. There have been people here at this farmer's market who have died and gone to hell, and now they're saying that preacher's right. There are people at this farmer's market who have died and have now believed that preacher that stands up and preaches the word of God, he's correct, he's right. You better listen to him. But I know what the Bible says. Many will go the broad way that lead us to destruction. And few will go the straight gate. It's that simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Only by Jesus Christ can a man be saved. There is no other hope 
but the hope that's in Jesus. Good morning and welcome to the Daytona Beach downtown farm. It is a blessed name, above all names. It's a name that the devils bow down to. It's the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. He is the only access to Father. No man cometh unto the Father but by me, Jesus said. Jesus said, my name is Jesus and it's no other. I don't need to lie about my name. In my name, Jesus said, there's hope. There's better than hope. There's the blessed hope. There is salvation. And only through the name of Jesus can you get your name in the Lamb's Book of Life, and God will get your name right. God will write your name correctly when you believe on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't believe a man that doesn't know his own name. Believe on the man, the Lord Jesus Christ. Pilate said, Behold the man, and that man is Jesus. I find no fault in that man, and that man was Jesus. That man was crucified for our sins. That man was buried. That man arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That man's name is Jesus. That man will get you in the head, Jesus. And glory to Jesus Christ. And honor to Jesus Christ. All blessings and honor and glory to Jesus. Glory to his name. How great thou art, Jesus. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And he don't even know his name. I know the name of Jesus Christ. And the name of Jesus Christ is able to save your soul from hell. Forever. Can you know that God knows your name? And that name is in Jesus. He say, sir, what is your name? My name is Jesus because I have his righteousness. God's going to give me a new name. But there will be no name changed in the name of Jesus. You don't belong in heaven as a sinner. You belong in heaven through Jesus. Only by the precious blood of the Lamb of the Lord Jesus Christ are you able to be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Salvation can only be wrought. Sometimes she thinks I don't think right. I belong so in heaven through Jesus. I don't get my name so is broken down the last book of life He's because of right Jesus. There by my side. Salvation is wrought of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, I Jesus. Have you been to the blood for the cleansing power? Have you been washed in the blood of the Lamb? And that Lamb is Jesus. Glory to God in the highest. And peace. Thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. You know what Jesus means? Sometimes I wonder why I even try. Fruit. But Jesus said, I am the water of life. Isn't it refreshing to have water on a hot day? Isn't it great to have a bottle of water? You know, in hell, there's no water. 
The rich man said, oh, if I could just have a little drop of water to cool my tongue. But there's no water in hell, but you can have heaven by the water of life. And Jesus said, I am the water of life. Jesus said, I'm the bread of life. Jesus said, he is the life. Jesus said, he's the way. He's the truth. Jesus said, I am. Oh, that got the Jewish people upset when he said, I am. Because you know what I am means to the Jewish people? Jesus said, I'm Jehovah. You know what Jesus means? Jehovah saves. You know what can save your soul? Jesus alone. <laughs> Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. It's called key to the world. We don't deserve heaven. It is as a gift of God through Jesus. And the Bible says when one man repents and gets right, all of heaven rejoices. Angels get happy when a man receives Christ. They don't get happy when a man rejects Christ. But a change inside of me. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. That's Bible. All the things that I believe Well, do something. That's Satan. That's the world. Give to a charity. That's man. That's humanity. I have the key Jesus said, I the am the way, I the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. There's no other acceptance of God but by Jesus. the glory we'll be singing in praise to Jesus, the Savior of the soul, the soul. God's only way to get to Him is Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Do you want to go to heaven? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Let me live, let me live, let me live free. Through Jesus, only through let me, Jesus. Let me, let me Only through the glory of God can a man get to heaven. If I were to ask you if you were going to heaven, the sure answer would be yes. Through Jesus. The unapproved answer would be, I don't know. I'm not sure. Because going to heaven, the Bible says, these things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. And that eternal life rests in the Son of God through Jesus Christ. Anything else but Jesus is hell. Anything else is hell but Jesus. Let me live, let me live, let me live free. Wicked people are in hell, so are good people. So are church going people. So are people that have been baptized. Those that don't go to hell are those that have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. Have the key to the world. It's that simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Saved from hell. 
Once you enter hell, you don't come back. You need not suffer in hell. You need not be tormented in hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It will be a shame for you to hear the gospel being preached. That Jesus Christ suffered <coughs> and died according to the scriptures. <coughs> and was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. It would be a shame to hear that and still go off into hell. That'd be like having all your bills that you owe and you have a check for a million dollars in your hand and you won't cash it. Here's the check, one million dollars, it can pay all your bills. I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna believe that. It ain't so. My own paycheck can do it. Carla, you need more signs? Give me but evidently, it's, it's not enough. And neither are you not enough without Jesus. Okay, give me the, the, the box. I got you will go I to hell without Jesus. All right. This one's not right. Right. You will it's suffer in hell for not believing on Jesus. I just had this thing to see about. That's not what I say, it's what the Bible says. He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not be light, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. And I studied up on islands in the South Pacific, and I found out that if they don't get rain, well, they don't survive. You can't live on them if they don't have a lot of rain. Look at that sun picking up. But nobody really likes rain. Unless the earth is dry, you need it. So, uh,